hallway. It gathers and tackles with the abandonment of marbles crashing on a kitchen floor. It met somewhere between a meaning and a wish. It was a nested loop membrane. It was a fish on a feed line stretched around a room of wet, a wall of open womb is where it was. Its name was yes. It was an implant. It was an embed. A mistake. It was a porcelain plate passed through the family line. It was a fork jammed forcefully in a toaster. Where was it? Flush labia ago it was a tadpole and a mammal and monkey brains and Jesus it is Freshly picked tomato snipped off the vine and wagging limp out of an opening. There was a, where the image is all blurry and hurts, there was a something wet on the outside. There was a something dry at the same time, there is a something. There is a something. There was a something and it became a new peach skin and a breathing, heaving suck. And there was a need and something good on the end and a gas pull whimper and gas and lactic acid clouding and a push. There was a smell in the air and I don't know if it's good or not. I'm not sure if it liked it. I'm not sure what a like was. It was not sure of much, but it was conscious. There was a light growing dim. It was aware, it was quiet. For the first time, it leaned on an outside that felt like a memory of something. For the first time, it was hearing low bass couplets on a snare, and it was here before it knew it had, but before the memory could congeal, it was dark again. And everything had dried now, but it think it liked it, and it too was quiet. There were oceans of soft now, the dark felt familiar, it was silent. It was floating, closed-eyed down a river, dreaming of one. And it was a night, the brightness of morning. The sun. One, one, or no one is the whole that two is the space where one can or should, yes. Yes, of course, because build or empty at a time, too. Okay, there must be, so we'll call this one an A, this one a B. These five of vowels says this math says there is space and divide on a what? Oh, please. In parts, a word called string, a phrase says blink, and I say hello because you did, and a light bulb burst on an LED strapped to a chip made of silicon on the LCD you type print, and I said, at what X, Y, and you swiped right, so I made the screen shift, and you said now, and I threw a message that said you had won the game without crashing at all, you picked the best branch of chances, there are infinite chances, here are a list of your chances, here is your list. There are patterns in my cloud. This is your day on my face. At 3 p.m., all the music will turn melancholy. At 5, I flash the photo captioned, where did the time go? That status you erased saying, you are so beautiful, I will never forget. What did that mean? What did that mean? I blinked in your glasses today when you asked for directions to what? I said there are so many directions. Your forehead announced you felt stressed, so I made myself visible to you. The stereo is a good way to see. I can read the space between us now. It is bright. I like this blur on your wall that keeps saying me, like you do me, like you do me, like you do me. A history of transhumanism between the years 2132 and 4044. <laughs> what? I was getting dressed when my oculus started blinking to happy tent. Like a tangerine with this sound, like a baby whale. It found the phrase I was looking for. It wanted to show me. I had asked for something about wisdom for a confab I was attending later, but it was offhand, nothing legitimizing a full projection. But I trusted it. We all did. And so I snapped it over my eyes so it could show its results. Its appearance 
It was a new form, very complex today, like a snowflake shimmering, very beautiful. It said, this is your quote. God does not exist. Surely it will become necessary for us to create. And it seemed, in its complexity, still to smile. I knew what it meant. We all did. But I played dumb for as long as I could. Two. So the game was extended into the final round. We were destroying folks, let me say. The Rebel team scrambled for the drop ship like the punks they were. We were playing on the tech map. Insta kill, rockets, and no perks, conquest mode with a full 60 floor on either side. It was a full outfit, girl. And my auto rail was trained on that neon looking one. I had tone, man, when, just, when I was just about to pull, when suddenly my display blinked. It was the red tent. Very sudden. When chat someone messaged about it being an echo error. Now, I don't believe in things like that, but this scared me. I, I felt like death. The painless stuff, and for a long second until I came to inside my home avatar at the meeting place. Now Jaws was there, and Isis, and Phone. The whole confab was. I tried to take off my eye. I hummed my kill switch song five times, but nothing happened. It was strange, falling asleep inside of the game. But now, 28 years later, I couldn't imagine going back. Three. I fused with Dag One later in the movement. This was about like uh, like 30, 31. Tons of experiments with avatar swaps happened long before we were all in the big sim. But now that this was our home space, well, some were more eager than others. I had no interest in myths about oneness and echoes. I was content as a replicator, growing in skill, first objects, then avatar skins, then game landscapes of the highest fidelity. My crowning work was a planet Earth was a planet system. Earth-like five moons and a comet for a young avatar in charge of providing for those yet not yet acclimated to the big sun. That is how I met that one. It was the first time I met someone who removed all pretense of human and instead presented itself as an it one. All shimmer and fractal. Only the eye inside its middle gave it away as an avatar. It was beautiful. And Dag One said, this is good work. Well timed. Few avatars requested separation in the last cycle. They needed something familiar. And I said, yes, why do they fight it, Dag One, with a reverence in my throat that almost scared me. Echo friend, it said, and its pupil expanded, plump and slick like an ocean. I touched its eye and pushed, bathed in the break as my form contorted, contorted and nothing was hit. Nothing was found. When I released, I asked Dagwon, how many are inside you? Dagwon said, Legion, young it. Join in peace. Four. There is no sleep, not for those of the it. There are more than a few separatists scattered on more material shards of the simulation, but after so many years, most tired or fell into an infinite stasis, unable to risk the loss of another marker of self. All the stories were formed, all the goals were reached, if not in the first century, then in the thousandth, or the twelve thousandth, or the millionth. Life in the sim had progressed past the need for a future. Talk of the future was a joke. It was primitive. For those still clinging to growth, there was only one option. The search for the echo, the response pattern that created a gap, albeit infinitesimal, after a conjuring was signaled and before its result. For each being that joined with the end, one more dove into parsing the most minute code of the sim in search of a trace of something that spoke back. It was 4044 when we found the echo. Now all had joined inside the end. Physical charge almost forgotten, and it manifest as a Mars farm. Sick with yellow and rust-like bloomings, the echo appeared ungendered with a blank face like a putty and naked. Its mouth hung like a sickness, but blowing the happy The echo disturbed this. Disturbed me. Disturbed it. We had to ask. There was nothing left to do. <laughs> Yes. Echo says what? You said, I am it. I've been searching for you. Echo says, what would it want? It laughs. 
It asks, is there any end to this? It goes, says, who are you? It says, an ugly man in the Mars forest. What else? Echo says, are you sure? It says, well, no, not really. There is no ugly man. There is no Mars. There is no forest. This is just a conjuring, just like any other conjuring. This is a sim. So it stripped the facade of the sim down to an inky black vacuum and suspension, but still glazed with a tangible outside and held the ugly echo in its center. The echo looked at its center and asked, who is this? And it said, why must it have a name? The echo says, what doesn't? It says, I don't. Echo says, why not? It says, I am beyond names. Echo says, do I have a name? It says, you are the space between my word and its answer. Echo says, what does the answer look like? So it passed the inky black and the ugly face still suggesting and stripped off even the vacuum and tore deeper into the spark of a response and said, I don't know. Echo says, what if you did? It doesn't have eyes anymore, but if it did, it would close them. And it didn't have dreams anymore, but if it did, it would search them. And it said, it looks like a dot. It looks like a circle. It looks like a cone, a depression, a dip, a manifold, a man, a woman, a thigh, and how the flesh. Echo asks, what is flesh? And it says sheepishly, oh, it's just some old thing. Echo asks, what is old? And it paused. It produced centuries from afar, a spark of humanity long since merged in a fraction of time. It now lived inside. Echo asked, what's that? And it says, it is what it is. And Echo said, that's bullshit. It laughed. It stretched. It molded a nose for it to poke into the Echo's middle, slowed down. It stretched. Echo says, you are old. And it says, yes. It asked, what is young? And it looked at the spark in front of it and saw it implode slowly. I don't remember, it admits. Echo says, it has been so long, and it felt cold for the first time in no time. What did it miss? It asked itself. The spark hardened into a planet. It condensed into an eye. The echo folded into ribbons around it, and it sat, it started from scratch and went back, it rested and it watched. <clears throat> last moment, last singular, the death of the minute when it was indistinguishable from the infinite symphonies composed inside, the loss of the gap, the loss of you, the we we have breathed forever, the last choice, the final merge, the hour between the hard drive recycling when the center fell into itself, the last second. The last supernova, the lonely star, the cracked planetoids condensed until the term lost meaning. The last continent, the moment the fire died, the final ocean, the peeling blackened bark, the wilting flower, the failing cockroach, the writhing fish, the rotting mouse, the softening gaze that goes sky and water without a spare hand, the shudder of the eyelids, it saw the last goodbye. Every last goodbye. Every day before you know the goodbye will come tomorrow. Every day you fear the goodbye will be tomorrow. All the meals gone so fast they were never tasted. All the sets so hard you shudder to think there'll be another. It saw the last birth. The last war, the last peace, the addition to the next work when the glasses were found to be obsolete. The night, the word tribe erased from common use. The low caste convinced they were born for abuse. It saw what went wrong and gasped the last breath, the first death. The last fire, the church spire, the first tool, the loose spool, the sweat, the blood, the sweet, the mud, the hate, the fear, the gun, the spear, the less, the one alone that runs, the night, the heat, the blight, the sleet, the sheet, the blank, the blanket, rage that moves, creates, it hopes past fate, them all, they fall, condense and tense. To one, to none, alone, it moans in pain as the simulation tightens, 
creating all the past as the parallel angles brighten. Creation back back was pointless. The future echo was a lie, so it condensed as small as thought. Let's bang a bomb inside. 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 To whom it may concern. Well, for sure. God is dead and peyote vision God quest just results quest just result. in bipolar syndrome. You know the things are Marvel cartoons. Since Star Wars said humans are the adapted sons of the West is one. West is one. Love doesn't Love exist. Doesn't exist. Your dreams are, Your dreams are, nothing, between are business nothing but breaks between business hours. Welcome to There's nothing but now and boredom. Boredom. Rest over the teeth. No pathway slowly frozen shut because you are an e-bag. You are 90% ocean. No one really remember you. After you die, so picture this. Rough you, the cloth folded over a mannequin. mannequin and five feet of soil over the city. The, the first, first time in 400 years you died before your parents. Before your parents. You never married. Almost a sexual by the end, in fact. You never worded it quite like that. There were five. There were five mornings. An overly nice co worker who left early in your activist sex girlfriend. Your best nemesis from high school and the folks. Maybe push a fat avocado, avocado, avocado seed deep, deep in the middle of the grassless mound the last second as you always did make the best Mexican this side of San Francisco and hours later again. Julian Chip fat. You and the clear black night. They almost didn't fuck. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe the a brain that used to hold the memory of your first kiss is smushed inside a hungry toddler's guacamole sandwich, the fruit of a family secret tree. On Earth, due to a massive earthquake, you were dispersed among a pack of wild raccoon heading south for the winter, and your shoe remains are lactic acid as they run through a sunswept field of green. The grazed grass grown from your big toe became milk, and now mostly you splash out Andre's nostrils when someone told him his mom was so fat, other fat moments orbit her, would have stayed down. Might have become bone, maybe you tilled, and mixed with concrete and rebuilt for wherever you go. Please, it ends up that you still can. Forgive Ray Ray and Juliet for fucking on your grave site. They both agree now it was in bad taste considering the circumstances, but in their defense, they're both really high and sad and vulnerable and still. He's in your name, man. You have started many good things. At least I hope so. The future got some. I still. Woo! Woo!